Uh, the revolution that I'm part of is the biotech revolution across all, all the way from healthcare to energy, environment, all the places that living organisms and, and animal and plant proteins can play a role. And I've been giving a, a lecture over the last couple of years about the parallels between the IT revolution and the biotech revolution. The IT revolution began in 1945 with the ENIAC computer. Two years later, we had the first transistor at Bell Labs. But we didn't have the first computer chip until 1971. And then 1973 was what I view as the dawn of the biotech uh, community, uh, industry and technology. It was the transfer of a single gene from one bacterium to another, not even a different species. And we had you know, lots of uh, anxiety about whether we're safe, whether we would do it. Now it's routine globally, even in high school labs, you can do that. Uh, but that 28 year lag, let's just take that as an analogy. So by, you know, by the mid uh, 70s, App Apple started, Microsoft started, we were just, we were now 40 years, or you know, 30 years into that IT revolution and nobody owned a computer. Nobody knew what an internet was, nobody knew anything about that. It wasn't until the early didn't 90s. Have a television. When I was in didn't. Holland, we didn't have, we, want, we had in our little town in Holland and they had the first television and say, everybody went down there and you looked at it and it snowed. And then yeah. and vaguely you saw individuals. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, well, think about that in today's world. What's it going to be like in another 50 years? So by, by, the, by the 2000, we had hit the dot-com bubble but at that point we've been on the internet for just only six years the first e-commerce showed up in 91 the very first transaction so if biotech is 28 years behind it's no different we had to sequence the genome we had to invent technologies even genetic transfer techniques we had to get all of this stuff done and now we're seeing it come out of its shell. So we're at the equivalent of the early 90s right now, 20 years ago, 28 years ago would be the equivalent. We saw evidence with COVID 11 months from the sequence to an in your arm vaccine is unprecedented. And it's not unique to that. There are many technologies that are burgeoning like that. We met the number of drugs approved by the FDA in the US last year was 57. From 1938 to 2015, it was 25 to 30 every single year. Right. And then boom, it's taken off. Because the technologies have arrived, are mature. We have, just like having the infrastructure of the computer IT revolution, where you have the internet, you have everything, we can now see it. So the same way you could not envision an app on a phone in 1995, imagine you said, I'm going to start an app company. I'm going to get rich or a video gaming company. People wouldn't know what you were talking about. We have the same thing right in front of us now in the biotech revolution across all sectors. Now, I'm an optimist about this. I do teach bioethics. I was just on a panel last week about the future of human enhancements in Paris with the OECD. And it's an interesting time. 